Hi guys, uh, my name's Kane. Today I'm going to be giving you some information about Australia's Fair Trade Agreement, which will hopefully help you whether you're a consumer in the fitness industry or you're a personal trainer that has branched out and started your own business. Now, before the 1st of January 2011, each state and territory of Australia had their own Fair Trade Agreements. Now the whole of Australia is subject to the Australian Consumer Law or the ACL. Why the change, you may ask? Well, before the ACL, Australia's consumers and business owners alike had to deal with many different state laws and regulations. The ACL makes it a lot easier for all of Australia to understand their rights when it comes to trading fairly. For consumers, the ACL has replaced 20 different state, territory and commonwealth laws with a single law. The ACL is easy for people to understand. The government has finally stopped using complex legal terms and has given us something that we can understand. And this enables us to know when we've been done wrong by and how we can enforce our rights. With the ACL applying to all of Australia, this means that we as consumers benefit from much better enforcement of the law because all of the enforcers they are on the same page. As both future health fitness providers and consumers in the fitness industry, we need to be aware of what is considered unfair and what is considered fair. If you go down to my description after this video, you'll see I'll put up this link um, and it'll allow you to go in and have a look at what is fair and what is unfair in the eyes of the people who judge this. So a lot of the problems do come from memberships. So if you're a consumer, um, you'll have to look at you know what has happened with the memberships and make sure that you don't make the same mistakes. And as a business owner, you'll see where the consumers have stood up against other businesses and said, okay, you've done something wrong. And from that, you'll be able to learn and understand yourself so you don't make the mistakes that other people have made. Um, a great document that I came across uh, for both self-employed PTs and PTs working under an employer is the Small Business Self-Assessment Checklist, which is basically a yes or no checklist that guides you through the law maze of working out what is applicable to us discerning fair trade. So this is it right here. It's basically just a six page PDF file. Um, I'll also put the link to that in the description as well. So if you just go on, you'll be able to um, go onto the website, print one off and go through. Now you'll see it's very simple. It's either yes or no to the question. So you tick yes or no. And um, at, the end of, at the end of it, you'll be able to see whether you applied all the laws and um, if you haven't you'll be able to see where you can fix it up. Alright well that's all I have time for today guys but um, I'll be back with another video soon hopefully so I'll see you next time.